According to Germany's Labour Minister Hubertus Heil, the German government plans to alter its migration law to make it simpler for talented African workers to relocate to Germany. Heil is in Ghana this week with his colleague, Development Minister Spenja Schultz, as part of a tour that will end in neighboring Ivory Coast. The two ministers also attended the launch of a Ghanaian European Job, Migration and Development Center in Accra. It was initiated by Germany, but now has the support of the European Union. Heil told VW News that the migration reforms in the next law would be designed for a modern working system in Germany. He went on to say that he expected the law to be passed this year because Germany needed to secure the labor force in Germany and assure skilled migration for our country's future. Skilled African workers leave their home countries to pursue opportunities in the West, primarily due to the lack of economic opportunities and inadequate compensation in their home countries. Many African nations have limited resources and low demand for certain professions, resulting in fewer job opportunities and lower salaries. This can be particularly frustrating for skilled workers who have invested a significant amount of time and resources into developing their skills. Another reason is the political instability and insecurity that can be prevalent in some African countries. In some cases, conflict and violence can make it difficult for skilled workers to carry out their work and can even pose a threat to their safety. Finally, many skilled African laborers leave their countries due to a desire for a better quality of life for themselves and their families. This includes access to better health care, education, and living conditions, as well as opportunities for professional growth and personal development. It has always been tough for African workers who want to come to Germany to do so, but the proposed reforms, according to Heil, will address various difficulties, including bureaucracy. The question of how to recognize qualification. The question of how to fasten visa is very key to this, he explained. And so Germany is a modern migration country, and if we organize it very good, it's also a triple win situation, as I mentioned, for countries of origin, for us as an immigration country, and for the labor migrants themselves, he added. The average age of the German population is 49 years old, compared to Ghana's average of 19, indicating that there are a lot of young people who would look for work in other nations, according to Heil. Germany needs skilled migration in the future because of our demographic structure, he said, adding that Germany must organize this in a fair manner. Nevertheless, Johan Ivanov, director of the Friedrich Ebert Foundation in Ghana, told DW that Germany should not get carried away in its efforts to address its skilled labor shortage by placing African countries at a disadvantage. He stressed that such cooperation should be sought solely for mutual benefit and not to exploit other countries. I believe only if both countries can benefit from it then this makes sense, he said. A lot of people who work in Ghana as experts for instance in the medical sector, they rather have to stay in Ghana because there is a lack of qualified health workers in the country. Of course, there's a lack of health workers in Germany, but this is not how the relation should look like. As such, Mr. Ivanov urged Germany to find creative solutions to its labor crisis rather than harming the labor force of other countries. Germany has to improve its problems by other means, he said. So, what do you think of our video? Do you think Germany is wrong to alter its migration laws to take away Africa's top skilled workers to solve its own labor crisis? Or do you think the onus is on African countries to do more to retain top talents so as not to lose them to developed countries? Let us know what you think in the comments below and as always, do subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.